All right, guys, so this is an easy one. So on this unit, we have no heat. And it's, I see the inducer working. Doesn't sound good, but, but uh, there's no heat. So on these Lennox units, the beauty about it is that you have this board right here it'll tell you exactly what's happening we have a code 66 we're gonna go back to these uh, uh, error codes and we're gonna find 66 66 is combustion airproof switch is open okay that means that your pressure switch is stuck so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shut it off. Okay, so we can clear the error code. Shut it off. And then we're gonna disconnect the hose. And we're gonna make sure we're gonna blow in the hose. to make sure that it's clear. All right, I'm gonna put it back over here. Now, plug it back in. Now we disconnect the other end, which is toasted. Oh no, yeah, it's toasted. So that's what happens to those holes because the inducer gets hot and it tows the, uh, the rubber of the uh, hose. So I took that out, now it's clear. Now what you wanna do is you wanna blow on the other end so that you can clear the uh, pressure switch. Now that's a good sign. Okay. So on this unit we have two pressure switches because this is a dual burner unit. So there's another pressure switch over here. We need to make sure that this one is clear as well. Okay, that's good. Disconnect from here. Oh, it's toasted too. So, take a knife, cut the little piece out. You still got enough holes to reconnect, but now we gotta make sure that the pressure switch opens and closes too. It's good. That's a good sign right there. So plug it back in. Let's restart the uh, the unit and see what happens. There we go. Oh, something is stuck. Oh, this one, now the inducer is not working. All right, so it looks like, looks like we got a bad inducer. So, that's pretty much what the problem is. Uh, Let me find my guy because we're working on a few units here so we're trying to make videos for for you guys that are starting out and and so you guys can learn you know how to work on these units um, by the way uh, service first is always hiring so if you guys are looking for a job where you can get paid good money but you're gonna have to work hard because this is hard work we gotta bring all this equipment. I mean, today we didn't have to bring much because we're just doing inducers, igniters, and stuff like that. I need the meter. Let's let's bring it over here. So, um, yeah. So it's it's not it's not an easy job when you have to do refrigeration work because it involves bringing up uh, tanks, you know, recyclers, vacuum pumps, all kinds of stuff but it's fun because you always get to do something different 
so I've been doing this for for about 20 years Victor here is on his second year and he likes it you like it Victor yeah oh yeah I like it yeah. a lot you like it's it a fun. lot okay so on this unit I had a code 66 which means that the pressure switch is open but um, and, and the inducer was working when when I first came to it but when I turned it off and restarted the inducer didn't work so I just want to make sure that we're getting the right voltage to the inducer before we determine that that is the problem so so just get your meter in there and I'm gonna turn it on all right let me know when you're ready all right go ahead okay All right, it's on. 253. Yeah, that is the right voltage. So yeah, this inducer is bad. We need to replace that one. So let's leave it off for now. So that's it. That's it. That's Oh, somebody's calling. Me. All right, I, I'm going to have to let you guys go. I got to answer this call. Bye.